five. Well, that was fun, huh? Cheers, everybody. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. And uh, what was that little thing at the beginning? I don't know. It was just kind of a pastiche of things I did getting ready to film this video, which is uh, the first video in a while. Sorry for the delay. And since the last video, I've uh, gone over 3,000 subscribers. What? I mean, that's not a lot for some people like PewDiePie or somebody like that. But for me, that's a lot of people. That's so that's really cool. Thanks everybody for watching and uh, for continuing to watch and all that stuff. Uh, it's just gonna be a normal shave today. I'm not, I've, I've got to review those things that I said I was going to review. I gave away and sent away the uh, the Dorco blade and he got it. The guy, the winner won it. The winner won it. The winner... <laughs> Maybe I need less coffee in the morning. One less scoop of coffee. Anyway, and that thing that I showed you earlier was me doing a couple of pickup lines. Not that kind of a pickup line. I pick, it's a term, it's a, it's a voiceover term. Pickup lines for uh, an anime that I worked on a while back. And uh, there were a couple of lines that we missed. So what I did was set up my very crude studio, as you saw, it was just an iMac, a blue blanket. <laughs> And like an SM58, I think, a Shure microphone with a pop screen over it. And uh, using Audacity, I just recorded those couple little lines. And uh, hopefully they'll be good enough. You gotta match the mouth flaps of the anime. Do you know what, Matt, do you, do you guys watch anime? I don't really watch it. Um, what I watched in the 70s was Speed Racer, which is, which is an anime. And uh, Battle of the Planets, things like that. So anyway, so you have to match how their mouths move since they're speaking Japanese and we're dubbing in English. You have to match the English to whatever that Japanese was. And those are the mouth flaps. So that's what I had to do. I had to watch the little video in the upper right of the screen and try to say the, uh, the lines exactly as the mouth flaps were going. And this is all being filmed on uh, my new iPhone 8. I had to retire the old iPhone 6. It was almost four years old and it was, oh, it was on its last legs. But, uh, so if the video quality is a little bit different, normally I film this part on an iPad, and I probably will at, uh, in the future, unless this quality is better. Is it too good? I don't want you to see too many flaws in my otherwise flawless skin. So, it's not 4K, don't worry. That, you, whew, I don't want to see myself in 4K. But let's shave! So that's what I do, uh, um, sometimes, you know, I've told you that I do voiceovers, and that was a little real-life example of just a very quick, normally I go to a studio. Uh, hasn't been as much as I'd like to in recent years. I swear, since 2008, things have uh, kind of slowed down farmer's tan. I like that. Oh, sorry. Um, anyway, so I'd like to pick that up and uh, get some more work. So if you're out there and you need someone to record some voiceover for you, message me. All right, let's shave, shall we? Okay. Let me turn off the music. I, I can't hear him in the back. I got the Dave Brubeck station on um, Amazon Music, just a streaming service. So what we're going to shave with today is the old Rockwell. Yeah, I mean this thing can do no wrong in my book. And we're going to shave with the gimmicky caffeinated shaving cream and then follow up with the caffeinated aftershave. The caffeine doesn't do anything unless you just like which I'm not going to, but it smells great. It smells like peppermint, and I love the smell of peppermint. And it's almost the holiday season. It's almost Christmas time, folks. It's still autumn, it's still the middle of November. So let's get shaving. All right, I took a shower, did my hair as best I could, and now we're going to, um, I, I wet this brush, and we're gonna apply the shaving cream from a tube, just like toothpaste. You don't need a bowl, necessarily, if you're going to shave like this. And you know me, I like simple things. I don't like to have to do a ton of work uh, when it comes to shaving. Or anything else. Work smarter, not harder. That's a lazy man's way of saying, I don't want to do it. All right, so this is a face lather. If you watch any of my other videos, you've seen me do it a million times. I don't ever really use a bowl. The only time I do is the built-in container that this soap came in. But if you're into collecting fancy ceramic shaving bowl, more power to you, brother or sister. Ah, oh, it smells so good. It smells like Wrigley's 
spearmint or peppermint. Actually, I think it may be spearmint. It may be a mix, a blend of mints. For those of you in uh, other countries that don't have the Wrigley's brand, that is a very old American brand of chewing gum. Been around forever. So there you go. Gets a good lather up. Get the excess off my, my lip. It doesn't taste bad, by the way. The, these soaps aren't like, they don't taste bad. Even the Barbasol that I use, if you get it in your mouth, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. And then we're just gonna shave. I had somebody comment on a recent video. It was actually a woman that takes care of, I believe it was an elderly gentleman, or maybe a couple of them. And she said, why are you shaving your face twice? I mean, this is, this is the, the tone of voice I imagine her writing it in. Why are you shaving your face twice if my clients ever, if I ever did that to my clients, they would kill me. I'm paraphrasing, of course, but uh, I think you're doing it wrong. You can have uh, two and three passes and not hurt yourself or your clients. So uh, maybe look into some shaving videos and uh, lighten up on the, uh, on the pressure on those poor guys that you're shaving in the twilight of their years, trapped in their, wherever they're trapped. I don't know what the situation was. It didn't sound good. Anyway, a light touch will make sure you don't get razor burn and a sharp razor blade. You know, it's like the old saying, a dull knife is more dangerous than a really sharp one because a dull one will slip and a dull razor will just not do its job and it's taking off that beard here. So anyway, yeah, that intro, you know, you see all over YouTube these these fast cut editing, like pop, 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 and here's the thing. And then I was like, I wonder if I could do that. And yes, you can do it. It takes a long time though. You guys ever watch those people that do daily vlogs? The amount of time that goes into creating those things is unbelievable. Some of them can do it as a full-time job, but man, it's a lot of work to do all those little edits and things, and especially we're using an, an iMac that's not the fanciest and fastest. And There's the first pass. I'm not in any pain, dear commenter. I'm gonna wash my face, put some water on my face, rinse. I always wanna rinse in between passes just to uh, kind of get the, uh, whatever stubble off there and whatever else. And then go again with plenty of shaving cream. And if if you find that maybe the shaving cream is a little dry, like it feels like it's a little dry, just dip some water, drip, dip your brush in the water. And go back up. Try not to uh, use too much water. It's always easy to add water rather than take it away. Same thing goes for Making gravy. Speaking of gravy, Thanksgiving's coming up. What are you guys doing? I'm staying home. Oh, you know where I was recently? Took a little trip with my mom and my little brother. I say little brother is two years younger than I am. We went to Las Vegas. And I hadn't been to Las Vegas in almost 10 years. And boy, things have gotten expensive out there. Maybe it's just me. Because I'm not a big gambler. But I do like Las Vegas. I do like the old days of the Rat Pack, Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr. And I'll tell you, that old Las Vegas has been gone a long time. There's still a couple of places that have the vibe of the old Vegas, but they are disappearing and being imploded more and more quickly these days. But I do love the spectacle of Las Vegas. I love I love the, the climate, it's so dry, you know, and in November it was beautifully cool out there. Summertime, sure, it's the middle of the desert, it's gonna be 120 degrees, but the no humidity, I love it. Anyway, had fun out there, walked. You know how much I walked? I walked 11 miles the first day, 13 miles the second day, and about 10 and a half miles the third day. I'm a walking fool. I mean, I walk a lot, that's my exercise of choice. My goodness, my hips, <laughs> my hip, like you'd sit down for breakfast the next morning, and then when you get up from breakfast, you're like, oh my goodness. But I had a good pair of shoes on, and there was a lot to see, and we saw everything we needed to. Didn't drink too much, because I'm smart that way, lucked out, 
Lost about $40 on the slot machines. Played some blackjack. Been learning how to play blackjack. But man, I, I know the value of a $20 bill when I go into those casinos. I get, uh, if I lose 20 bucks, I'm like, ooh, boy, I'm getting out of here. And if I'm up like five, it's so sad. <laughs> I win like five bucks, I'm like, yes, I'm out of here. 10 bucks, oh, look out. Look out, baby, we're going to the all-you-can-eat buffet. Actually, that's another thing. Those things are expensive. Spend 50, 60, 70, 100 dollars in some cases for like the lobster buffet. Anyway, okay, enough about Vegas. We were in Vegas and I just wanted to tell you about it. As we shave, there's the second pass. You know, with this pass, you, you can salvage some shaving cream from different parts of your face, like behind your ear, like a little magic trick, and get the, uh, the little places that you need without having to do a full lather. and get pretty much baby smooth. I mean, you know, as smooth as a 47-year-old baby can be. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, tell me let me, tell me uh, what you think of the, the quality of this iPhone 8. It's a, it's a really, it's not the iPhone 10. Uh, I'm gonna wait, that's, I, I can't afford this iPhone 8, but I had to replace the dang thing, the iPhone 6. Plus it was the 16 gig model. Oof, I know, first world problems, I'm sorry. All my viewers who are not as fortunate as I am, even though I'm certainly nowhere near affluent. Oh my goodness. Anyway, let's not talk about finances, shall we? Let's talk about shaving. There's number two. Do we, do we dare do a third? I don't think so. I don't think we need to. So let's just rinse off with cold water. Ugh. Anyway, 3,000 subscribers. That's just remarkable to me. Like I said, it's not a lot in the grand scheme of YouTube, but to me that's pretty cool. And I really appreciate all of you that comment and watch and say that you've caffeinated aftershave, say that you've like been looking for uh, wet shaving videos. I use about that much online and you've like had to wade through a bunch of, you know, guys that like to shave fancy, I guess. We'll call it that. And then you found mine, my kind of simplistic, every man, day-to-day -day shaving style and you liked it. That's cool. I'm glad that you do. And I'm glad that you guys watch. And that's, is that it? That's it for this one. Well, that was fun. Sorry it took so long. I'll uh, try to be better about that. I still have a couple of things to review, like this Polish uh, razor down here, the Wilkinson sword. Still got to do that one. And uh, I think that was it for reviews, I believe. So keep watching. Thanks for watching. Um, maybe we'll do some uh, scotch drinking videos coming up. And uh, whatever happens, thanks for, for being there. And uh, I hope you keep watching. See ya.